is YouTube. What the deal, yo? Yes, it's your boy Lucy back with another video. How you guys feeling out there? Me, I can't complain. I'm back with another unboxing and a show and tell for you guys. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Well, we all familiar with the late great Moses Malone. Back when the NBA had the 50th anniversary, they had the 50th great players of all time, and he was ranked one of them. And he played for the 1983 Philadelphia 76ers and won the championship that year. Now, what makes it even more special is that in the beginning, before one playoff game was played, Moses Malone declared that they were going to win the championship. Now, they ran through the whole Eastern Conference, losing one game to the Milwaukee Bucks playing against the L.A. Lakers in the actual finals. And not only did they beat the Lakers in the finals, they beat them in style by sweeping them, letting them know that they was not in their class, man. So it's only right that Nike pay homage to Moses Malone and dedicate a pair of Air Force Ones to him. Now, the reason why they gave him the Air Force One is because he's one of the original six players that was endorsed by Nike to wear the Air Force Ones on the actual court. So it was only right for them to go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and get into it. You can already see it comes with a nice little gold ticket with some kind words on the back with the number 16 on the other side that represents the whole playoffs all the way to the finals. And here we go, man. The white University Red Air Force Ones with the gold bells and whistles on it. Now, the white leather on here, I really like it, and I'm not just gassing it up, but it's actually a little more tumbled than the normal Air Force Ones that they release. And you can see the stitching that's coming through the Nike Air Check. It kind of got that old school vintage uh, Nike Air stitch that come through there like they do on the Jordan Ones. On the lace debris, they got, or the bra, however you pronounce it, they have the 1983, the year they won the championship is in gold. And they also got the keychain that resembles the NBA championship trophy. Now, what I really like about these the most out of everything, that they separated these from any other pair beside the bells and whistles was the back of them. And all my OGs know what I'm talking about and they know what they're looking at, man. That's that vintage Nike Air on the back. It's not the new school embroidered Nike Air, but it's that vintage Nike Air, man. You gotta love it, man. Now, these were actually um, a quick strike with the sneakers at. And I think they flew over everybody's radar because I actually caught these probably, I want to say maybe a week after they released. And it's probably because of the Captain Gowns and other releases that came out that had everybody's attention. But I definitely feel like these are a pair that you should have in your collection. Um, they ran 130 I mean, if you get discounts or anything, you might not get a discount on them, I'm not sure. But they cost 130 and I think they still have a few sizes available. So if you don't have them, you might want to go get them, man. It's definitely a good t summertime shoe. It's definitely something you want to have in your collection. Now, me personally, I think these joints are tough. Now, I want you guys to get in the comment box and let me know. Do you feel these are tough? Or these some bluff. These are official, man. They definitely pay homage to the late great Moses Malone. Material banging. And like I said, man, that Nike Air on the back heel and on that tongue is vintage. And it definitely give it that old school OG look and feel to it. Well, it's a wrap, YouTube. Thanks for stopping by my channel. Please subscribe. Hit the notification button, man. And give your boy the thumbs up. It's your boy, Lucy from Lucy Street Kicks. I'll be catching you guys on the next upload. Later.